Welcome to Play for the Composer. I was delighted to receive pieces from Alessandro, Andrew, and Anya, Rosabelle, Saren, and Waikiki. It's always a great pleasure for me to listen to young people playing my music, and you all did this really well. And I thank you all for the artwork and the poem. Uh, I really love receiving these and it's always very special. So Alessandro played a little program of three pieces from Safari and he moved very successfully from one piece to the next and changed the mood. So well done for that. Then Andrew played a very lively nautical rendition of Navy from Paintbox and I enjoyed that very much. Then Anya played a very sensitive performance of Sunlight Through the Trees. And that was followed by Rosabelle with a very atmospheric performance of M for Moonbeam. So well done for that. And then Saren played the duet with her teacher, Butterfly. And this was really uh, flowing and uh, a lovely performance. And finally, Waiki also played Sunlight Through the Trees. And this was a very charming performance as well. So thank you all so much. So now what we're going to do is listen to you all perform your pieces. And then at the end, I will talk a little bit about each of the pieces that you play. Thank you. 
Hello, my name is Anya Brown and I will be performing Sunlight Through the Trees. Hi, my name is Sarah and I am 8 years old. I'm going to be playing butterflies with my teacher Andy.
now I'm going to just talk a little bit about each of the pieces that you played. The first one was Alessandro's African Dawn. An African Dawn is about the early morning in the vast plains of Africa with the mountains away in the distance, the sky is beginning to lighten and maybe the animals are just beginning to stir. So we want to create a feeling of space. And as Alessandra will tell you, there are no bar lines in African Dawn. So you can actually be really adventurous with how long you wait between the groups of notes to create that feeling of vastness and space. And so on. And you can make your audience wait for what's coming next. And then Alessandra played onto the acacia tree, which you did with the pedal. Not everyone at this stage can use the pedal, so well done for that. If you're playing it without the pedal, the first bar, if, we, if we're using the pedal, you can take your hand away and we will still hear the first notes. But if you're playing without the pedal, then you need to hold the fifth finger right through to the end of the bar. And we can hear both notes clearly. And then Alessandra finished his little recital played Baboons playing a very lively performance. I think I mentioned in bar four, um, there is a temptation there if we don't think clearly in the beginning of bar four to sneak in a little bit early. So I suggested knocking on the piano. If you don't hear that first beat of bar four, this can happen, can't it? And we start up just a little bit too early. And if you're very agile, and get the left hand back down again. So well done for that. And then Andrew played Navy, a lovely, robust performance of Navy. And really the only thing was the difficult jump at the end, which arrived really well, very clean, but just a bit early. So in order to keep it absolutely in tempo, if you just practice, the notes involved, which is fifth finger A, third finger D, and again, really crisp. And then they won't be tempted just to rush a little bit more. Then we had two performances of Sunlight Through the Trees. First of all, we had Anya, and then we had Waiki at the end. The opening of Sunlight Through the Trees is actually quite challenging because the bars are all slightly different. And we'd start off one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you could have a look at that. And also, I think I suggested to Anya playing them at the same speed as the quavers. One, two, three, four. Which will give a different effect than playing them slower. And also, because the left hand is lower on the piano, it can sometimes sound a little bit louder. So try the, and make them, you can't hear the join. And you don't know which hand has played which note. And that's fun to do that. And then we have Rosabelle with a very atmospheric performance of M for Moonbeam. And this was beautifully counted. Uh, it's quite a tricky challenge at the beginning because there's nothing in the first two bars on the second beat. 
And when you have a piece like this where you need to think an empty beat, it's quite a good idea to fill it in. Now, Rosabelle did this absolutely in time. And so this is how you would do it. And you get that feel of one and two and three and four when there's nothing happening on the second beat. One, two. Now, I think I pointed out that bar three and seven are just ever so slightly different. And in bar three, we have a second beat, which is silent. So you can do the same thing there. One, two. And then in bar seven, it's one, two, three, so just little things to watch out for there, but beautifully played. And then the final piece was the duet Butterfly, which was played by Seren with her teacher. And really the only thing that I would like to really have a try is the final notes, that they are much softer and they don't, and then they're not louder than the rest of the piece. Now, in order to play this A really soft, because it's a very strong note in the middle of the piano, we need to come in slow and heavy. And then the same with the right hand. And you will find that that makes it much quieter. Now, it's very important to be slow and heavy, because if we're just slow, We don't get a very strong note and sometimes no note at all. But if we have, if we're nice and heavy, that note will always resonate. So you can practice doing that and see if you can get those final notes really soft. So thank you all again for your playing. I enjoyed it enormously. And goodbye from Play for the Composer. Thank you.